here with Gary Shaw, promoter of Chad Dawson. We're at the press conference to announce the second fight with Bernard Hopkins. April 28th, uh, your side, you guys had some choice words up there. The Hopkins side was uh, quiet for once. Uh, what are your thoughts on this fight? My thoughts are that there's something wrong with Hopkins, that he doesn't want to talk at a press conference when he normally runs out your batteries on your recorders and he's unwilling to do a face-off because he knows what happened in that first fight. He doesn't want to look Chad Dawson in the eye. But after, he's got plenty to say. So April 28th, Chad Dawson will clear the runway. Do, 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 you, do you, and I guess more importantly, Chad, go, are you going in this fight? As the champ, believing that you guys are the uncrowned world champion. No, we truly we don't talk about that. That fight is over. What happened happened. We now have to look forward to April 28th, clear our heads, put our mind on the job, the business, and go do it. The first fight, um, I guess, business-wise, a lot of eyebrows were raised when you guys, I guess, for certain circumstances, had to take out the Los Angeles. This one, like you guys said, East Coast, East Coast, Atlantic City, a natural. Yeah, for sure. It never belonged on the West Coast. Didn't belong on pay-per-view. It was forced on. It was HBO's financial uh, commitments. Now we're on HBO. We're in Atlantic City where we belong. The fans will be the winners. You think... You think uh because, you know, if should Chad win this fight, there probably will be 10, 11, 12,000 people in that arena. This could be the springboard maybe to catapult him into that next stratosphere in terms of his uh, marketability and, and stardom? Well, hopefully. Remember one thing. Hopkins style doesn't allow for great fights. He holds, he pushes, he pulls, he elbows, he uses headbutts and whatever. But hopefully the fans will get to appreciate Chad and what a great kid he is and what a great champion he is. Always one of the most active promoters. What else do you have to come, coming up you, you want to promote here? Well, I do most. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, West Coast and out of the country. But I'm doing Daniel Giel on March 7th in a world title fight, 160 pounds, the IBF. I'm doing Darchinian, 122 pa 118 pounds in Tokyo against the WBC champion. DeMarco is fighting my 135-pound champion, and I'm really proud of these young Puerto Rican fighters, Delorme, Pedraza, and Gonzalez. You mentioned DeMarco. Is, uh, I know the WBC ordered a, a rematch with uh, Linares. When, when, when may we expect that? Probably June or July. And that will be most likely a Showtime slash HBO type of fight? Well, yeah, for sure. One, one, either HBO or Showtime will have that fight. Well, Gary, we'll see you April 28th. And for fans, uh, as you mentioned, watching around the world, Gary will be coming to a venue near you soon. Thank for you. Sure. Good luck. Thank Thanks. you.